Double Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, let me just blurt it out. Tyson Fury's fights are boring. Straight up. You know, we're going to talk about the lineal heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury, right? About to fight Deontay Wilder, so he's going to be in the news a lot this time. Let's see if the fight's going to happen. We don't know if it's going to really happen. But somewhere in November, uh, November or December, it's supposed to happen. Things can happen up until then. So we just go, you know, but we're going to talk anyway, you know. So, you know, somebody told him, you know, I think Radio Raheem or whatever said it was boring. And uh, Tyson Fury took issue. I've seen this. This is a couple of days ago. I was just thinking about it. You know, Tyson Fury fights are boring to people who are not really just watching boxing, just wants somebody maybe get knocked out. He's not knocking out everybody. Period. But is that boring? Maybe to some people, then you'll probably be casual fan at that point. Or you just want a rock and soccer robot type of thing. I don't know. In my opinion, it's definitely not boring. Right? Be 6'9", moving, making people miss, making people faint, people making them not throw punches, being able to go southpaw, orthodox, doing your thing, controlling distance, right? If you get in an infight, still handling your business, that's not boring. Uh, everyone can't make Pianata look like he did, Tyson Fury did. You can't. The man's 6'5", still in the southpaw. Made him look amateur. Throw two jabs, then fall in with a hook, you know, because he knows nothing wasn't coming back. Putting the earmuffs up, making sure no matter if he's southpaw or, or orthodox. A lot of things Tyson Fury do. And he obviously just wanted rounds. Everyone couldn't take the risk of being out there, you know, with a big old cat like that. And uh, just, I'm going to get me some rounds. Being not in the last four fights, but he's definitely not no, I'm going to get me some rounds type of guy. To everybody, you better be kind of elite. I'm telling you now, 6'9", just doing these things. Now, of course, he didn't even punch that hard the whole fight. Don't get that twisted. He's going to know against a Deontay Wilder that if I have an opportunity, I better take this because at every single moment, I can get clipped here. So there's a difference. So... That was impressive to me. I don't think Tyson Fury fights are boring. I watch boxing, uh, you know, just to, I think it's good when somebody has a good defense. I don't consider that bad. I thought Canelo looked great against uh, Giant Golovkin in that first fight with his defense. Did he let his hands go enough to win the fight? No, I don't think so. I think Giant Golovkin won that fight with one or two rounds, but Canelo's defense was impeccable. I think Floyd Mayweather <laughs> just totally dismantling uh, Manny Pacquiao. That wasn't boring. Most people say it was boring because of sour grapes. What was boring about seeing a guy who's pole type Pacquiao was a whirlwind throwing punches in bunches. And after two straight right hands, that stopped. It's the reasons for that. Right? And I love to see the reasons for that. You know what I mean? So most of the time when people come up with this, things are boring, like Tyson Fury's fights are boring, or even Klitsch go back in the day, whatever, somebody just has to beat them. The ring is not that big. And most of the time in all sports, when people are sour grapes, anything that's athletic, they, if you're not athletic, you're going to hate on athletic people. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's what it is in all sports. Believe me, the NBA, my favorite sport, right? Yeah, well, all of a sudden, the NBA start, uh, put zone defense in the NBA. Zone defense. It, it's reason. I'm going to go for why the reasons right now. But the zone defense is for people who can't play defense, right? So we, but we need a few more of them in the NBA, right? It has no place in the NBA. That's for international basketball and college. But if you can't play no D, then you're supposed to be a liability, right? If you, you better be able to shoot real good or if you ain't going to have a job. That's what the NBA is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be the best athletes, not just skilled ones that are skilled in one thing. And it's a whole lot of three-point shooting, Right? You're giving three-point shots to people just because they can shoot. But a dude who gets dunked on somebody is still only worth two points. Or well, somebody blocking a dunk should get an extra foul. Don't get me started there. There's reasons. Athletic plays are not rewarded in NBA. It irks me because I know why. Right? And in all sports, we talk about boxing. It's a little old bitty old ring. Right? Little bitty ring. And people who can move around in the ring are considered not good or for some kind of reason a runner. 
but the dude who was coming forward got beat up. It's just the way things are. It's sour grapes for people that are not athletic. So athletic people, keep your athleticism on. And Tyson Fury is one of them, right? Watch a guy do things like he's doing at being 6'9", 260, 270 is nothing less than awesome. And, and, and another thing, undefeated. So somebody going to have to do something about that. So to the question, Tyson Fury fights are boring, a resounding hell no. Dumb sports talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.